Of course. Good morning. My name is Scott Harper, president of the Greater Conroe Lake Conroe Area Chamber of Commerce. I would like to welcome you to our show, Chamber Chat, where your host, Cassandra Rosian, our director of membership development, will update you on all the Chamber's events and programs this month. I hope you find this information beneficial and look forward to seeing you at one of our next events. Good morning and welcome to Chamber Chat, the morning radio show where I chat with the hosts and speakers of our monthly Chamber events. I am your host, Cassandra Roshan, the Director of Membership Development for the Greater Conroe, Lake Conroe Area Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber is a nonprofit organization with the mission of serving the Conroe, Willis, Montgomery, and the Woodlands communities to improve economic development and quality of life. The Chamber is made up of over a thousand members of these business communities. The Chamber provides members various monthly networking events, educational seminars, cost-effective marketing opportunities, as well as finds ways to give back to the communities that we serve. The Chamber has been in business for business for 80 years. And again, the purpose of this show is to inform all of our listeners of the monthly events that the Chamber has. Each month, we'll have two co-hosts come on and talk with me about what's happening in the Chamber and encourage listeners to get involved and, of course, mark their calendars for these events. Each month, the Chamber offers two free lunch and learn sessions, a networking breakfast, business after hours, membership luncheon, as well as many other special events throughout the year. I will give you a rundown of all programs and events for the month, as well as interview some of our hosts and speakers. Today, uh, we have Rob Hurd with Bella Destinations Travel and Trisha Williams with Snow White Mobile Teeth Whitening. How are you guys doing? We are doing great. (laughs) Good. And I always think you guys are kind of the dynamic duo where one is the other follows, right? Or just go together. Or (laughs) one of us drags the other. Thanks, Rob. (laughs) I was trying to be political. Yeah. Correct on that. Well, hey, because you guys, well, and tell me a little bit about what each of you do because it kind of, you wouldn't think that it goes together, but it kind of does when you really think about it. Well, we both work in uh, the wedding industry, specifically in one area. Mm -hmm. Um, I can whiten teeth for brides and bridesmaids, grooms, groomsmen, and then Rob. I get to send them to various destinations for their destination weddings, honeymoons, just overall having a good time celebrating their new life together. So I keep waiting for him to send me to Jamaica. He just, he hasn't done it yet. I get to go first. (laughs) She's in line of about probably 100 other people I, that are waiting I'm to go. I'm first in line. I am first in line. <laughs> Shouldn't he go and test it out first to make no, sure? It's no, no, he could take me. I'll test it out too. You want to be the guinea pig? <laughs> <laughs> you better be careful. He's going to send you somewhere bad. And then. Oh, yeah, no. See, no. goes both mm-hmm. ways. Yeah. <laughs> I can go to Paris for you. I swear. I, I, I'd behave. I don't believe that. <laughs> I've been Paris? to the red light district in Paris. You would not behave. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what that is. So. Oh. <laughs> Well, you Amsterdam, don't need to. Amsterdam has one too. This so. is true. That's, that's <laughs> even more. I wouldn't say sketchy. It's more adventurous. All yeah. Um, Cassandra. <laughs> I didn't Am- say I participated. I just said I've been there. Yeah. Red Light District in Paris is for Moulin Rouge's. Moulin oh. Rouge. So, um, it's a lot of fun. But anyway, so the chamber. We have the fireworks coming up. It's Yay. July 1st. I uh, can't believe that. Fourth of July is this Friday. And yep. so the chamber, of course, uh, puts on our celestial spectacular over Lake Conroe for this Independence Day. And last year was the second time in over six years that we had the fireworks over the lake because of the drought and the hiatus. And mm-hmm. we're right. back to normal lake levels. So yeah. nice. we can explode things in the air this year. Very <laughs> exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, and... With all the positive feedback, we wanted to bring it back again, of course. And so this Friday, July 4th, you can watch the fireworks at 9.15 p.m. And you can also tune in to K-Star. And uh, they'll be playing patriotic music to go along with the firework extravaganza. That'll be awesome. Yeah, yeah. it'll be a lot of fun. Have you guys ever seen the fireworks over Lake Conroe? Oh, yeah. We we actually live a block off the lake, and and we walk down the lake. There you go. (laughs) I'm going to go to... Trisha's house. Yeah. We're just going to go hang out by yeah. the lake this year, I think. Just yeah. to Party at Trisha's <laughs> yeah. are, are you bringing the mojitos? <laughs> I know how to make them. Sure. I'll bring okay. them. All right. One of his trips he learned when he went <laughs> to Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you're having a party at your house for the 4th, it sounds like. <laughs> Do you want to invite everyone? and put, No. As long as they all bring food and drinks, I'm fine with it. <laughs> and clean up after themselves. Just clean up after yourselves. And then you have the pool, right? So you can. I do have a pool. 
go to the pool, you have the lake, just yeah. watch fireworks, it'll be perfect. Yeah. So you're not. Now you're we not, just have to put a bar around the pool. So, be like a so pool now bar. we need some construction co- uh, companies come out and build a bar around the pool. Yeah. yeah, we'll we'll be good with that. We'll host as long as somebody comes out and does all that for us. <laughs> You'll just be the location. So we're right. going to you doing any, I know like 4th of July is obviously a big grilling holiday. You're doing any of that. With the, I've seen all the cute little dessert things on Pinterest. Oh, white and blue. Definitely. I am not artsy fartsy. So, um, yeah, I, uh, we'll grill. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told there's that. a couple things going on um, that day. So we're waiting to see what where we land. I know. I definitely want to see the fireworks. I know during the day we're going to go down to uh, the duck race. Yeah. Down in the woodlands. Um, Marjorie Taylor and Montgomery County Emergency Assistance is hosting the... Is it the Great American Duck Race? Correct. Woo-hoo. Yes, they and are. I bought my quack pack. Your quack pack. Bought my quack pack. Lo- supporting my local community. There you go. Yes, they're all going to be swimming over at Ralph Fleming Park. Yes. So. That's a lot of ducks. It is a lot of ducks. I think we're going to take the kids and they're going to march in the parade and yeah. Fun stuff. Awesome. Yes, there's always a lot, a lot of stuff going on on the 4th. Mm-hmm. Um. It's really hot in Texas for the 4th, but um, <laughs> that doesn't stop anybody. Hot. It's not that bad this year. It really isn't. I mean, as far as temperatures go, this is not bad. Oh. It's hmm. humid. <laughs> it's been a lot more Well, it keeps day. raining. It makes it's me think we're not me. in Texas because it keeps raining. Yeah, we have had a lot of <laughs> rain. But that's good because I allow this to have fireworks. Yes. So. Uh, so do you guys set off fireworks at, of your own? Uh, we do. I actually got a request yesterday from a 7-year-old to have those what are they, snappers. Mm. Mom, can we have some snappers? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I did as long it last as you clean year, up the paper. And it was not a a good ending. Uh, uh, who lost a hand? Nobody lost a hand, but when the police come around and they're and they were not happy. <laughs> they were they were polite. We were done. They just <laughs> were kind of like, "No, it's not allowed." Okay, we're done anyway. Are yeah. fireworks illegal? They're not illegal. They, they are illegal it. in the city of Conroe. They are illegal? Um, oh. We live I don't in, live in Conroe, so I wouldn't. We live in the country. Our subdivision allows it. We're good. Yeah, I know. It's very. <laughs> it's it's definitely by subdivision. My subdivision yeah. allows it. This I know. Not ours. Our neighbors were calling the police somewhere. We don't know who it was. <laughs> oh, my. That's okay. Won't well, happen this year. Lesson learned. He'll yeah. be at my house. He can do it at my house. <laughs> as long as he cleans up after himself. I keep emphasizing, clean up after yourself. I'm not going <laughs> to worry about that. I'll have the big, spectacular show. Yes, that the we'll set them doing. off for you. So, okay. uh, yes, yeah, Celestial Displays, they do our, uh, our fireworks. And we go out, you know, to where they set them off and, and look and see. And we have to be very careful because mm-hmm. every wire is positioned just so. Mm-hmm. And if you move it at all and it... <laughs> shoot one way as opposed to the up and I, oh. so yes they can be very dangerous uh but yeah they're they're big mamas they're huge wow. as opposed to the little ones you get at the fireworks stand i have seen um i went to pittsburgh one year for fourth of july and you could actually see the big tumbler mm-hmm. with it, the, the big cannon yep, things. And it's yes crazy it's amazing but yeah it's amazing and i always thought that you know they like go up and they light light it with a fire and then they yeah. run away no it's all computer generated really so. yeah yeah mm-hmm. the times they are a change in oh so. wow <laughs> everything's electronic yep no more is. punks going out there lighting them individually nope. with Good punks luck with that. you can't hire your kids to do that <laughs> <laughs> no i kind of like them i don't i don't want them to lose you limbs. don't want them to get blown up <laughs> <laughs> I, what a good mom. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Trey Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> and so you guys are obviously going to be watching by the lake, but have you ever gone out on the lake to watch the fireworks before? Do you prefer to watch them on the water, on land, or just near the water? We live on the lake, but we don't own a boat. No, I, I honestly, I haven't. I've not done it here, but I've done it in Colorado, and they did a show right over the lake. We were right under where the fireworks are going on. Oh, wow. So, so you were on the lake. On the lake. So, yeah, if you can get on the lake, that's awesome. Is it? I have and to get off the lake, too. though. Uh, to watch it off the lake? To get off, like, if you're on the boat and then the fireworks are done, and then you have to get go back to the lift and take your boat out. I mean, isn't the line, like, crazy? Not if you have a private subdivision <laughs> that has their own boat launch. <laughs> Josie. <laughs> we, we were out there when I did this. Yeah. Um, it didn't seem like we were waiting that long. It was actually oh. kind of nice. Everybody was very polite, helping each other get out because everybody's trying to go home. So, yeah, um, that's my experience. Well, that's good. I've always, I've never been on the lake watching them. I'm always 
for the for the chamber, we are sponsors. We have a preview party at San Jacinto River Authority. So I watch from land, but um, I always see all kinds of boats mm-hmm. there, and I wonder the party barges. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Well, yeah, you can rent party barges, so oh, yeah. that's the way to do it. There you go. Just get a big group together. And then, yes, you wouldn't have to worry about unloading. and Right. You just yeah. drive back to the dock. And yep. Then but somebody has to drive home. Um, just make sure you have a dock. stumble in my hand, that's where you stay. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, but, uh, again, you know, we are going to have the fireworks show at 9, 15 p.m., with, and our best visibility will be from the south side of the lake. So um, the Heated Jacks is one of our prime locations, so make sure you get in early because they fill up very fast. Yeah. Um, but anywhere from over there, you can go and enjoy the show or go to Trisha's house. Uh, <laughs> and, again, you can listen to K-Star to hear patriotic music to go along with the big kaboom. And, uh, of course, we want to thank all of our sponsors for this year event. We wouldn't be able to set this guy on fire without them. Okay. Um, but we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about our Young Professionals Network. So Yay. stay with us. You're listening to Lone Star Internet Radio now for your daily weather report. Today is Tuesday, July 1st, 2014. Today's weather forecast will be mostly sunny with a high near 93. Later tonight, we partly cloudy with a low around 76. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. This weather forecast is brought to you by Donald Wick Public Relations. You've seen the billboards. That's right. Wicked publicity. Contact them today at 832-326-1965 and visit wickedpublicity.com. Tune in at 3 o'clock every Wednesday for Aperture and Shutter Speed with me, Tom Moore of TR Moore Photos. And me, Dick. If you are an amateur or expert, or if you haven't ever picked up an SLR camera before, Aperture and Shutter Speed is a show for anyone who loves photography and film. Join the conversation with us by calling in or emailing us your questions. If you want to know what's coming up on Aperture and Shutter Speed, just look up our show page on IRLoneStar.com or look us up on Facebook. Join us every Wednesday at 3 p.m. for Aperture and Shutter Speed, and remember, take take your your lens cap off. At Jazzy Junk, volunteers reclaim, restore, and recycle. Jazzy Junk is a nonprofit resale storefront where you will discover wonderful, unique finds at very affordable prices on furniture, antiques, books, art, home decor, and more. When you shop Jazzy Junk, you support New Danville, a community for adults with developmental disabilities. We receive new donations daily, so plan a visit to Jazzy Junk today to find that perfect item or gift. Our motto is here today, gone today. So remember to hurry in and shop often for the best selection. Jazzy Junk is located in the outlets at Conroe on League Line Road and I-45 North. Call 936-441-4500 or visit our website jazzyjunk.org. That's J-U-N-Q-U-E for more information and store hours. And welcome back to Chamber Chat, the monthly radio show where I'm Cassandra Roshan, the Director of Membership Development for the Greater Conroe, Lake Conroe Chamber of Commerce, let you know all about what's coming up for the month of July. And we are here, of course, with Trisha and Rao. We talked all about the fireworks and where not to set them off and where to set them off and (laughs) make sure you don't get in trouble by the police. But now we're going to move on and talk about our young professionals. Uh, This month, our lunch will be at Lone Star College in Conroe, Thursday, July 10th from 1130 to 1. And again, it's at the Conroe campus of Lone Star College. And we have Keaton Krauss, presenting mastering your memory i think everyone can use some help with uh, mastering their memory so this is definitely one you don't want to miss for all of our young professionals who are 21 through 39 um how would you guys rate each of your memories what are we talking about <laughs> <laughs> so two Trisha seconds needs, already forgot Trisha needs help. <laughs> <laughs> mine's good since i have to remind her that we had a ribbon cutting yeah this afternoon at 12 30 i so. knew yeah. i knew i just <laughs> forgot where and when it's one of those things where you like you remember but then you don't like remember all the details you're like oh, yeah i ribbon cutting sometime i have a rob for that he's my external brain siri <laughs> rob it's all the same thing tomato tomato <laughs> well it's good to have a memory buddy so that's yeah. rob is your memory memory buddy i got you. so what what techniques do you use to 
remember things. I write things down, and then it. I retain it a lot easier when I write it down. Yeah. The calendar. And then I repeat it. The calendar on my phone. <laughs> I would be lost without that thing. I would be absolutely lost. Well, yes. You didn't remember the ribbon cutting. So <sighs> what For some you? reason, Facebook didn't integrate with my phone. <laughs> Because I put it on Facebook. And that's that's the thing is there's so many different ways to manage your mm-hmm. calendar that if you don't have the one that works for you, then it's just it's not going to happen. I know. I use my Outlook calendar for everything. That's what tells me what to do. Yeah. I have a program that syncs to all of my Outlook and my mm-hmm. calendar on my phone. So it Okay. Somebody needs to help me out with the technical aspect there because my husband hasn't gotten on that. Here you go, Rob. <laughs> I guess there's a project <laughs> for me. There's another one. <laughs> Another project for you. Yes, yes. No, but calendars are very important. And, Rob, you know this firsthand with me that if if you tell me something verbally, I'm not going to remember it. Like, it's just not going to happen. But if you send me an email, then I will. Yes. yes. <laughs> that's why I had to submit the ribbon-cutting form. No, that's just standard practice. <sighs> yes, that's just a good practice. I had procedure. to fill one out. You have to fill I did one it. out. I did it. So, so now it's official. <laughs> it's official. Because then we know how you want your banners. For you. it's just, there's yeah. reasons for everything. I know. Yes. I want to get She's just trying to things. move ahead of the, the pack. Know, <laughs> trying to get exceptions. It's not no, <laughs> no, no special treatment here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Who so is she? I don't, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys go back? I know you said you write everything down. So do you like carry your little notepad and you just write stuff down as like throughout the day? Because I've been thinking about doing that actually. Um, yeah, if I'm at my office or even if I'm out, I'll write it on a piece of paper I'm in my car or something after I talk to somebody. But then I also speak it out again, you know, I'll say it such and such and, you know, particular time. And that seems to help me. That's just the way I've always been with everything, even mm-hmm. in school. I had a notepad and I don't remember where I left it. And I'm not even kidding. I wish I was. I think you might be a <laughs> <laughs> You definitely need to come on the 10th. You could use some assistance. I, I need that I cannot well. help you with. If you lost your notebook, you're on your own. <laughs> I don't know about the 10th. You know, that is my birthday anniversary. That's right. And that's a big day. It is a big day. Very big day. Um, so I know I'm really good with faces, but I'm horrible with names. You, would, I rely on name tags, and I'm, which is funny because I never wear my name tag. But what, what's my name? Well, I know you're. <laughs> I met you like 500 times, but for I always remember if I meet someone, but I'm never. I'm really, really horrible with names. I have to mm-hmm. meet them over and over and over again. So do you guys have any tips? For, I mean, are you good with names, or is it more? I think I'm good with names. Um, I don't know. I think it's it's just something that I grew up with. My dad, you know, he was a business owner as well. And, you know, I just retain names typically pretty well. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes it takes me a few minutes. Now, my husband, on the other hand, I'll say, hey, yeah, I was talking to Cassandra. And he's like, who's that? <laughs> uh, well, you only met her 15 different times this week. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've, I'm with him. I never... I never well, he, he would know your face. Right, right. Your name? Mm. So I'm in the same boat. What's her name again? <laughs> I have to say the name in my head like three times at least, like mm-hmm. while I'm standing there talking to them if I have any... Hope. Mine is kind of word association because when I met Trisha at another networking event, for the longest time in my phone it was Trisha White because <laughs> I associated oh. her with teeth White whitening teeth. and Trisha. So it just helped me remember... You what know, she did and who she was. I get called Snow White a lot. I don't know why. Well, because you have the app. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Snow White mobile teeth whitening. And Apple, isn't the Apple what killed her? Yes, it is. That's why the Apple went away. Oh, it's no longer okay. my logo anymore. I gotcha. I gotcha. But that yes. project's you. You got to take care of the name tag. Yeah, no yeah. I know. <laughs> come on. Come, come on. You're, not, you're, you're supposed to be on this, Rob. Just put a sticker on <laughs> Big smiley She got big sticker. smiley lips and teeth. So Perfect. Perfect. Um, and so I know both of you are really, you know, uh, very young. You fall within our young professional <laughs> range. But do either of you have any advice for any of our young professionals out there? Anyone who's just getting started in the business who may be younger or young young professionals definitely take advantage of everything the chamber offers um, all the education and learn from bu- experienced business owners um, you know listen to the people who have been in business if you have questions ask mm-hmm. um, yeah absolutely I, I don't think I've met a business owner yet that I've had a question and couldn't go and say hey do you have any suggestions and I don't think I've ever come back with my, you know, my hand bit off from it. So, you know, <laughs> no, typically you have both of them. I yeah, yeah, I do. Um, 
but you know typically they'll they'll either come up with a suggestion and say you know what i don't have an answer to that but let me forge it to somebody who may Mm -hmm. so it's we have a great community we've got a great chamber that is all about helping each other yeah absolutely i hear that time and time again so and i didn't even pay her to say that (laughs) (laughs) but how about for you rob i think that when it comes to your career path or owning a business it's really about passion Mm -hmm. so finding the thing that you're passionate about that you enjoy doing because there's nothing worse than going to a job that you don't like yeah so if you find something that you like and you know you enjoy that passion is going to shine through and other people are going to want to work with you yeah absolutely and who wouldn't love to be a travel agent for me who doesn't like to smile honestly other than oscar the grouch but you know (laughs) I don't work on us. He just didn't have nice teeth. No, he doesn't have nice teeth. That's why. Does he have teeth at all? He's a puppet. (laughs) I think he does. Does he? I think he does. I don't think I've ever seen him smile. I don't know. That was, I haven't watched Sesame Street in a while. (laughs) I have kids. (laughs) Google it. That's what, Google is great for that. Um, Well, again, you know, our our lunch is Thursday, July 10th, and that's Keaton Krause is presenting Mastering Your Mm. Memory. So I encourage everyone to come out to that because we can all use some if tips. If you remember, Trisha. That's right. If you remember, <laughs> put it on your calendar. It's my birthday. I can't okay. forget. There you go. It's my wedding anniversary, too. Ooh, big day. Big <laughs> day. And so, again, we're going to be at Lone Star College in Conroe on Thursday, July 10th from 1130 to 1. This is a free event. Uh, when you register and lunch is included, so you can go to conroe.org or you can call me at my office, which is 936-538-7107. And also that day... It's just a big young professional party day, I guess. But and Trisha's birthday and her wedding anniversary and her ribbon cutting. Uh, But we have our happy hour that night out at La Toretta Lake Resort and Spa in their Sonata Bar, which is the second floor of the lobby. Hmm. It's awesome. I went there to scout the location. It overlooks the pool and the lake. It's great. Um, And it's sponsored by Consolidated Communications. And so that's from 530 to 7. Um, Again, free drinks, free food, great atmosphere. That sounds like a great way to celebrate my birthday anniversary. Yes, (laughs) Yes, <laughs> I'm there. I remember I told you about that. I said that night. Oh, That's I how forgot. You can yeah. <laughs> she didn't put it on her calendar. She didn't write it down. You, need, you, you might need I'm, a I wrote one on one it down. I just can't find my notepad. <laughs> you need to put it on your phone. <laughs> I'll text it to you. Okay. But yes, have any of you guys been out to um, La Toretta before? I have. I've been out to uh, a chamber event out there a few years ago. Oh, awesome. Okay, great. I have so I think it'll be fun to check it out. being in the travel industry, you definitely... Definitely. I'm trying to get places as quickly as I can. Um, It's local. Trisha keeps dragging me to places. I do. She's good. She's good at that. I have to grab his ears, though, because he doesn't have enough hair to pull. (laughs) Anyway, (laughs) so it's short. (laughs) So it's it's the, it's on the tenth, five thirty to seven. But yes, so it when you go to the hotel, you need to go to the hotel, the, the big tower, and it's on the second floor. Um, it's a really really cool place. They'll have free beer, wine, uh, yummy food. But La Trotta is great. So from a travel agent perspective, they have a lazy river, they have a big water park, they have a golf course, they have a spa. Maybe I'll so, just check in for the night. There you go. Uh, sounds like <laughs> hey, you're a travel agent. Can you get us a good deal? <laughs> <laughs> you can just call if you want. If you're going to partake in lots of drinks, then get a room, and then you can just stay overnight there. So, um, but yes, we're gonna we're gonna be out there for our happy hour, which are which those are quarterly. So definitely put your calendar, put that on your calendar. Definitely. So you and remember. You know, I need to t- sweet talk the babysitter and say, hey, Christian, July 10th, you want to babysit overnight? So there you know, you it is the birthday anniversary because it's my anniversary too. So two for two for one. Two for perfect. Well, we're gonna take a short break, but again. Um, Thursday, July 10th, we have our, our Young Business Professionals Lunch out at Lone Star College, the Conroe Campus, with uh, Keaton Krause presenting Mastering Your Memory from 1130 to 1. And then that evening, we have our happy hour out at La Charetta Lake Resort and Spa at the Sonata Bar, which is the second floor of the lobby from 530 to 7. So don't miss out on these free events. We'll take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about uh, Trisha's favorite time, breakfast, the morning. She's such oh, a morning yeah. person. So yeah, you're stay so funny, Cassandra. With us. <laughs> the Conroe Art League is a nonprofit entity promoting the visual arts in Montgomery County. They've evolved over the last 49 years into one of the premier artist groups in the greater Houston area. The Conroe Art League is now permanently housed in the 100 year old, recently remodeled Maidley Building in historic downtown Conroe. Exhibits of local artists, sculptures, and painters are changed periodically in the downstairs gallery with admission free to the public. 
Art classes and demonstrations in a variety of media are provided in the upstairs studios. The mission of the Conroe Art League is to encourage artistic development and cultivate an appreciation of the visual arts through education, exhibitions, and community outreach. For more information, call area code 936-756-9572 or visit their website at www.conroeartleague.com. This is Rick Schisler, the host of the Weekly Business Hour. Have you ever thought about maybe, possibly, even considering LASIK? Then call my friends at Man Eye Institute, 1-800-MY-VISION, and talk to them about a free LASIK consultation. The thing about Man Eye Institute is they want their patients to be happy. That's their number one goal. Whether you decide to have LASIK, if you decide to have another procedure, if you decide to wait, whatever it is, the folks at Man Eye Institute want you to be happy and informed and comfortable with your decision. That's why I never hesitate to recommend a free LASIK consultation for anyone who's even thinking about maybe getting LASIK. 1-800-MY-VISION is the Man Eye Institute number because you get to walk through the process, have a thorough eye exam, and have all your questions answered. Before you leave Man Eye, you'll know exactly what your options are and you can make the right decision for you. So don't hesitate. Call Man Eye Institute now for a free LASIK consultation at one of their nine Houston and Austin area offices, including right here in the Woodlands. 1-800-MY-VISION. That's 1-800-698-4746. Discover more right now when you visit maneye.com about the benefits of LASIK eye surgery. And welcome back to Chamber Chat, the monthly radio show where I, Cassandra Roshan, the Director of Membership Development for the Greater Conroe Lake Conroe Area Chamber of Commerce, let you know all about the upcoming events for the month. We're, of course, here with Tricia and Rob. Um, and we have our networking breakfast coming up for all of our early risers at Cilantro's in Montgomery on Wednesday, July 9th from 7.30 to 9 a.m. So I know, Trisha, you, that's that's difficult for you, but you have kids, so I, I, I do. I do. I understand. But Rob, I know you have been to the networking breakfast before, so yes, what's I your have. favorite part about the breakfast? Of course, the food. Yeah. <laughs> I made it this last month. Oh, that's right. You yeah. did. Yeah. I'm very proud of you. It's amazing. That. Well, then uh, you she can had, answer the question, And too. then she had to get there and be there first, even though it was close to her house. <laughs> it's close to your like, house. Look at me. I'm here. I'm like, yeah, so... I was excited. I actually made it. I'm sure the Willis ones are probably easier for you. So yes, they are. Yeah. Not so far of a drive. So what's, besides the food, then what's your favorite part of the breakfast? I like the networking. I do. Yeah, I like the networking part because it's a good opportunity to stand up in front of a large group of people right. and get to know, you know, a little bit about what everyone does. And I think the fun part about it is it's morning time, so it's the first stop for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. So everybody's fresh, and um, I think everybody's just, you know, happy go lucky, and you know it's nothing very, bad has happened yet. Right. <laughs> some some of us sound like we're somewhat intoxicated because we haven't had enough coffee yet. Is yeah. that so really it's kind why? of funny. Yeah. <laughs> no. So it's. Just, Would you put Bailey's in your coffee? No, yeah, that's no, it. I wish. But it, it's <laughs> definitely a, a fun event because people are you know just starting their day. Yeah. There's no outlying you know stress that's kind of lingering. They're you know, we're all there kind of waking up together. Right. <laughs> Everyone's in the same <laughs> to get, boat. Get functional. Attempted to. Yes, I <laughs> yeah. agree. So, of course, at Cilantro's, we're going to have, you know, breakfast Mexican style. Mm-hmm. The eggs and the bacon, potatoes, tortillas, a pico, fruit. So, do you guys make the big breakfast taco or do you all do you separate it's it It's too early for that kind of fancy smanchy stuff. <laughs> it goes on my plate and then goes in my mouth and then we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing complicated. No. Well, I have a food rule that food can't touch. So yeah, I'm with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll get back to the the table and then I'll break off the tortilla and maybe put a little something together. But most of the time, it's one thing at a time on the plate. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I don't like I don't like lots of different. But even though they have a plate, the separators on the plate that doesn't really ever work. No. Probably because I, I ate too much. Food. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. I'm hungry. A little spillage overflow is okay, but still. 
eggs and bacon don't touch. It creeps me out, like, on Thanksgiving, how people have mashed potatoes and then they put, like, the gravy and the corn and, like, <gasps> everything all in one massive pile you and stir it together. You should see my husband at the buffet. Oh. He puts, like, all kinds of stuff on there and then he tops it with corn and then mashed potatoes and then gravy and then blue cheese dressing. That is enough to set me off. You can't send me in Rob's faces, <laughs> but we're really going to discuss it right now. <laughs> I am every time I have to go to the, the buffet with him. Well, that is a very interesting combination. <laughs> um, okay, I like blue cheese dressing. Oh, I love blue cheese. Yeah. But I'm trying to imagine that with everything else. It, it, yeah, I don't get it. It's not very pretty. I mean, I go to the buffet <laughs> and I still have to have everything kind of partitioned mm-hmm. off. And mm-hmm. if I want something else, I'll go back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have to have Three like plates. 500 plates yeah. because I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Well, plates are small to begin with. Right. But then. <laughs> oh, he'll, he'll pile everything two feet tall. Well, not necessarily, but That's at least six tall. inches tall. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. A lot of food. Or I mean, not to go to the buffet no, with, no. with you guys. No. Um, I'll probably skip that part. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, what do you do? You are you either of you cook a lot? I have four kids. Well, I know, but <laughs> actually, um, I I do a lot of ordering from All Star Catering. Well, that's right. Because they have the dinner true. tonight program. And I mean, who can beat 12 bucks a night for dinner? Yeah. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even cook for that no. sometimes. Right. That's fair. So what's your, do you guys have a, like a favorite Mexican menu item? Hmm. I don't make it, but I love burritos. And the one thing that I'm missing here in Texas is green chili. So I need green chili. Somebody, oh, please. Oh, I know somebody that makes that. From Colorado to Texas, I'm just missing the whole like green salsa, chili. huh? Like salsa, green chili salsa. It's like green chili. They'll put it on burritos. Sometimes it's like a because you can get the um, Mexican gravy type. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. Or you can just eat the green chili by itself. So you tortillas. want the green chili by itself? That so I can use it however I want to. Can you so. get it? Can't you get it diced in cans at the grocery store? Well, no, it's actually made with they. It's like a chili. Chili. Oh, okay. I have I'm connecting the friend dots. that makes that. They have that at, at a restaurant in the Woodlands. Okay. Um, that they put on like breakfast potatoes. Oh, it's so good. Oh, now we gotta go down. I don't house. cook these, but my best friend in Oklahoma, she and I, when she lived in Arkansas, I used to go to visit her, and she would take me to this one little roadside place, and they had sopes, and I've not found them here yet. And it's Texas. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Yeah, They're I neither. Like these little, I don't know what to call it. Um, and it's got avocados and it, oh, yum, 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 yum. It's good. We should make them. I don't, don't know how to make them. Oh, wow. Well, Google it. <laughs> Google it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the internet is for. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> She'll probably forget by the time yeah, she Yeah, I can't find the computer. She won't remember. <laughs> she won't remember to do it. Lost this my mouse true. a couple times last night, you know? <laughs> Oh, goodness. She lost her phone earlier, so. It was oh, in my purse. That it was is the black abyss. That is a crisis. <laughs> I cannot function without my phone, so I understand. But I don't know if, well, you probably know, Rob, that now this year we've had a theme incorporated to each mm-hmm. of our breakfasts. Mm. And so we encourage, you don't have to, but it's encouraged that all of our, you know, people that come to breakfast that they use, uh, incorporate their theme into the commercial. Mm-hmm. And so last month was summer fun. Mm-hmm. Um, this month is 4th of July, you know. So we it, our theme is freedom. Celebrating freedom and being patriotic and, you know, red, white, and blue. So here's, the de- here's our deep question of the day. Uh, what uh, does freedom mean to you? Well, I think what we're doing already. Um, in America, we can run and operate our own businesses. Yeah. Work with the people that we want to. That's what freedom is for me. You know, just being able to pursue those dreams that that we all have. So that's, that's what freedom is all about. The American dream. Freedom to me means having the ability to make the choices that we want for our own lives. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel very fortunate that we have that ability. Um, yeah. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Definitely. I have the freedom to wear blue all the time. And you, yes, you do wear <laughs> blue all the time. Uh, yes. So Perfect. Part of the American flag, right on you. Everywhere you go. <laughs> uh, but so now you guys have an edge up. You know, the, that freedom is the, the, the word. So think of how you're going to incorporate that into your commercial. I have the freedom to sleep through it. 
I'll be calling her. I'll blow up her phone. <laughs> do that. You have the freedom to do so. Yes. So yeah. make sure you do that. Well, awesome. Well, again, our breakfast will be Wednesday, July 9th from 730 to 9 at Cilantro's in Montgomery. And you can register for this event at Conroe.org or you can call our office at 936 936- Seven five six 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 four four. Uh, we're going to take a short break, but of course we'll be back and we'll be talking about I think Trisha's favorite event, our business after hours. Yes. So stay yes. with us. You're listening to Lone Star Internet Radio now for your daily weather report. Today is Tuesday, July first, two thousand fourteen. Today's weather forecast will be mostly sunny with a high near ninety three. Later tonight, we partly cloudy with a low around 76. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. This weather forecast is brought to you by Donna Wick Public Relations. You've seen the billboards. That's right. Wicked publicity. Contact them today at 832-326-1965 and visit wickedpublicity.com. I'm Mark Hader. And this is Cindy Cochran inviting you to join us on the Cindy and Mark Show each weekday morning from 10 to 11 here on Lone Star Internet Radio. Super Cindy, but I believe it's the Mark and Cindy Show. Huh? Yes, it is, Mark. And it's broadcast live on Lone Star Internet Radio here in beautiful downtown Conroe. Oh, the exciting things we'll talk about, the interesting guests you'll get to meet, the wonderful gifts we'll give away, and the tons of... Wait, wait, wait. Gifts... There are no gifts. I'm not giving away anything. Why, why do you get to decide on what we do? It's Mark and Cindy, remember? Oh, yeah? Well, so ladies and gentlemen, tune in and we'll all find out who gets to decide stuff. Weekday mornings at 10 here on Lone Star Internet Radio. How was that? Yeah, it could have been worse. You could have sung your part. Oh, yeah, wait. It's the Mark and Cindy Show. The Mark and Cindy Cindy. Show. The Mark and Cindy Cindy. Show. The Mark and Cindy Cindy Show. The Conroe YMCA's benchmark adaptive programming for kids and adults is Leap of Faith. Leap of Faith is an equine assisted therapy program serving children and adults with adaptive needs. The riders in our Leap of Faith program are working to address and manage specific aspects of their lives impacted by illness, injury, or disability. The Leap of Faith program has experience working with riders who are living with attention deficit or other hyperactivity disorders, hearing impairments, visual impairments, developmental delays or disabilities, autism, Down syndrome, multiple sclerosis, muscular dystrophy, head traumas, brain injuries, and paralysis. Our program uses horseback riding to develop self-confidence and self-esteem, to increase upper and lower body strength, assist in respiratory issues, and establish a trusting relationship between the rider and their horse. Not only do these activities aid in the physical and mental development of the rider, but they also foster self-reliance and independence. For more information regarding our program, to become a rider or to volunteer with a great group of people, please call our Welcome Center at 936-441-9622 or visit our website at www.ymcahouston.org slash Conroe. And welcome back to Chamber Chat, the monthly radio show where I, Cassandra Roshan, the Director of Membership Development, Uh, for the Greater Conroe, Lake Conroe Area Chamber of Commerce, lets you know all about the upcoming events for the month. And we are back with Trisha and Rob, of course, our two fabulous co-hosts this month. And uh, we've been talking about fireworks and breakfast, and now on to our Business After Hours, which is our largest uh, networking event every month. And it's from 5 to 7 p.m. on Thursday, July 17th at Wood Forest National Bank on 105, so right over by the high Mm -hmm. school. Um, And we are very excited for them to be hosting. And, of course, I know that both of you attend our Business After Hour event. Definitely. Um, I know that's your go-to. Oh, yeah. And professional I love it. I love them. But uh, what's your favorite part about the After Hours? I think that one's a hard one because... I, I, you know, I really have a good time with both the networking and, of course, the food's always good. Yes. I mean, food is is never a deterrent. (laughs) (laughs) Feed them and they will come. Yeah. Yes. Well, I've learned with Trisha, if there's food, then she's all about it. Oh, we, yeah. We just we just follow the nose. She finds the food. <laughs> <laughs> I had a hard time this last time, but, you know, I did find it, and it was good. Oh, what? Uh, At K-Star. K-Star. 
something. Yes, yes. K-Star. Yes. Uh, the the food was mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. Very good. Yes. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I, I think for me, it's the ability to actually talk one-on-one with different people. Mm-hmm. And that is an opportunity. I noticed this, this past couple uh, after hours, I got to meet people I hadn't met yet. Right. Whereas, you know, a lot of times when we're doing chamber events, um, it, it, at least for Rob and I as, as diplomats, we see a lot of the same people because we go to the ribbon cuttings and things yeah. like that. So it's a lot of the same people. And going to the after hours, we get to see a, ver- a variety of people mm-hmm. that we either haven't met or haven't seen in quite some time. And so we get to reconnect or, you know, do an initial connection. And, and I love it. I yeah. love it. Well, and each, depending on, because the after hours, it depends on whoever's hosting it. Right. So each month it pulls a different group of people. So you're always going to find someone new you haven't met yet or, or whatnot. So, yeah, it's a good opportunity to make some new connections. Right. And it's a place to unwind, too, after uh, oh, definitely. A, a busy day or mm-hmm. crazy yeah. day. Go on and unwind with other people. And relax. Can. And definitely just relax. Food, beverages, whatever the case may be. It's, oh, yeah. It's a great place great opportunity to just kind of be yourself and yeah. still be professional and you know the crazy thing is we were joking earlier about mojitos at my house i don't think i've ever drank in an after hours you're too busy talking that's why. i am i am <laughs> well normally i have to drive myself home <laughs> yeah be safe <laughs> safety first safety yes. first yes 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 um but no and i know that I don't, I know what Force has a caterer and they're going to have a mm-hmm. lot of fun uh, things planned for us. They're going to have some great prizes. I know K started too. They had a lot of prizes. Mm-hmm. So um, you can, might, might be the lucky winner by mm-hmm. coming out too. So, um, but I know you guys are both very outgoing. So you don't have issues with this. But, you know, if someone is new to the chamber, they've never been to an event before, or particularly in after hours where that's, you know, the largest event, what advice do you have for new members that are maybe afraid to come? Find somebody with a diplomat tag. Exactly. Um, because we want to know you. Mm-hmm. We do. We, we want to get to know what you do. We want to know more about your business. And we want to become your new friend, your new best friend. You know, that's, it's not just our job as diplomats. That's what we truly want to do. If we get to know you and your business better, then we can help you promote your business. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And just to kind of twist what Tricia said, it's not really a job for us because we are volunteering no. to yeah. be a part of the chamber. So mm-hmm. we're out there giving our time to help new members or even existing members right. who are renewing um, who maybe haven't been to these events before. I know that when I first joined, before I became a diplomat, it was kind of the the wallflower sitting over there, not sure what was <laughs> going on. But as a diplomat, now you kind of walk in and you kind of have a, a whole different perspective yeah. on what's happening. Who was the first person to come pull you off that wall? I forgot her name. <clears throat> you didn't write it down. Because <laughs> I, I remember a, 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 a uh, I think it was a diplomat's meeting. <laughs> Hi, I'm Trisha. Who are you? <laughs> yes, You're very good at that. Yes, you are. Trisha. So, yeah, that's, I mean, Trisha is good about that. And that's what the diplomats are there for. Mm-hmm. It's a point of contact for you so that you're not kind of walking into a deer in the headlights situation. Yeah, absolutely. And I definitely want to emphasize it's not our job. That's not part of our little job description. It is what we truly want to do. That is what, that's why we became diplomats, is to welcome other people in. You know, we've we've been the new members in the chamber. Mm-hmm. We know what it's like to go, oh, gosh, this is a big crowd. We don't know anybody. What do I do? Yeah, we've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I don't, I don't want other people to feel that way. So, you know, I want to make sure that we welcome them in, because we are very fortunate to have a very welcoming, comfortable chamber. And, Absolutely. And it's... It's a family, and I love that that it's a family, and we're all about promoting each other. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, what would be for anyone? What are what's one networking basic that you think that anybody should know in attending a networking event? Have a badge. Have a badge that tells not only your name but your business name, um, and introduce yourself. I'm bad with having my name badge. Yeah. <coughs> I'm wearing two of them right now. No, you're on it. I am on it. I have mine with me. They're in my car. Yep. I'm ready to go. My <laughs> one on either side right here. There you go. A twofer. But I, I think that if you're going into a network event, kind of have an idea of, you know, who you are, what you're about. Because mm-hmm. um, sometimes people are going to hit you with some hard-hitting questions mm-hmm. that you're going to be kind of thrown off a little mm-hmm. bit. But if you have an idea, you know, 
think about what you know if you're on a website the about us or about me or whatever you know that's yeah, the kind of thing that you want to be prepared with. right and everyone's going there for the same reason to get to know other people and so yeah if you need to know who you are what you're about right. and what, what you can bring to the table because people are going to ask you mm-hmm. about yes. it. well it kind of your your mini commercial yeah yes. your uh just your elevator speech mm-hmm. i guess you could say um in in you know, it's not that people are going to ask these these hard hitting questions to be mean. They just truly want to know more about what you right. do and in who you are. Definitely, definitely. Well, again, we're going to be at Wood Forest National Bank on Thursday, July seventeenth, from five to seven p.m. And this is free for all of our chamber members. So come have free food, free drinks, and mm-hmm. a good time. Um, but I wanted to say some time because I know both of you have some ribbon cuttings this yes. month and so Yay. trish i know yours is on july 10th yes right? yes 2 30 2 30 at conroe coffee right next to w- door to where we are right now uh 206 north main really really excited um july 10th is like my favorite day in the whole whole calendar year if you haven't gathered that yet. if you <laughs> haven't figured it out i got married this day I was born this day. My grandma was born this day. My cousin was born this day. Got a bunch of different people. Our, our kids' football coach was even born this day. Wow. Um, and so, yeah, I decided, you know what? My birthday's coming up. We'll just add to the festivities. So we're going to have my ribbon cutting uh, for Snow White Mobile Teeth Whitening. Like I said, right next door at 206 North Main in Conroe at Conroe Coffee. And we get to hang out with Leo. It's always a pleasure to hang out with Leo. Absolutely. Uh, and get great coffee. Uh, well, Italian sodas for me. But um, That is your favorite. I and then, see you with one in your hand. Yes, always. Um, July 24th, we're going to be having Rob's ribbon cutting. Yay! Yes. Tell us about your ribbon cutting, Rob. Well, our ribbon cutting with the chamber is taking place at 1.30, but will be available from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, it's open house. Long party. Yeah, yes. big party. <laughs> Food, fun, prizes. Um, we do have a grand prize that we are giving away, so please stop by. The only way to get entered to win for um, this grand prize of three nights, all inclusive, at the Occidental Grand Papagayo in Costa Rica. Ooh. So that's the big thing that we have for Ooh. just stopping by. Come visit us, get your name in, um, and then we'll be giving that away. Awesome. So... And It'll be a long day, but I'm excited about it and very geared up. So, and he's yeah. he's gonna have balloons for my little guy because my youngest, his birthday's July 24th. So see, Look I can't that. forget. Yeah, so, lots we, going I on. I told her we'd have some Disney balloons, so we'll have Mickey and I mean <laughs> we're gonna have it all decked out as far as I do love know. Disney, so mm-hmm. yeah. I would like a balloon then too. Okay, <laughs> we'll we, s- purple reserve. if you have it. <laughs> we'll have to see what we have. Write that but, down. <laughs> Yes. Repeat it back to yourself. Aiden <laughs> likes blue. Aiden likes blue, and he's listening right now, just so you know. Well, how uh, <laughs> can I forget that? His mother's a blue, blue fanatic. from head to blue. toe. Uh, I'm not a smurf, though. But we are going to have a lot of fun with Rob's ribbon cutting. Kind of kind of an open house, too. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Grand opening. Yep. It is going to be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. Both of them are going to be great. Yes. So yes. make sure you put those so. on your calendars. Uh, but... I mean, anything else that you two want to add about your ribbon cuttings or anything at all? Just a dynamic duo taking over July. I know. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> well, besides all the awesome events that we talked about today, we have numerous other events. Also on July 10th, um, if you aren't able to come to the Young Professionals Lunch, we have our Business Connect Seminar on Thursday, July 10th from 12 to 2 at the Chamber Office. And, of course, lunch is provided for that event. You can register at Conroe.org or calling our office, 936 756 6644 some more education we have for the month we have our lunch and learn with bruce may which is thursday july 17th from 11 30 to 1 at the chamber office and of course lunch is provided for that these are free events to you as well so free food free education mm-hmm. can't beat it uh you can register online at conroe.org or our office at 936-756-6644 and then our membership luncheon is Thursday, July 24th from 11.30 to 1. We're going to have our elected officials there for kind of a meet and greet and speaker panel. Um, so bring your hard-hitting questions for your elected oh, officials yeah. for that event. Um, and that's going to be at the chamber office. So, of course, you can register online or you can call our office. You haven't memorized yet. I don't know. If I have nine, saved in my cell phone. Seven five six 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 four four. And then, of course, professional connection, which, oh, Yes. I just noticed that. Thursday, July 4th, the luncheon and your ribbon cutting. No. Oh, yes. So 24th. 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 July yes. 24th. Did I say 4th? Sorry. 
Yeah. Thursday, July 24th. 24. Did we give Rob's address? I don't know if we did. 704 North Thompson. So for the ribbon cutting on July 24th, <laughs> 704 North Thompson. Yes. Sweet 150. Same 156. Oh, 756. 156. I don't know why. I can't read from the side. It's not in front of me. Well, there actually, the suite doesn't matter. We have a big conference room that we're going to be oh, in. Oh, perfect. So as you walk in the door, you're not going to miss anything. Yeah. Good. There'll be Disney balloons. So yes. Keep an eye out. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Professional Connection. That's how we end our every month. Uh, Wednesday, July 30th from 530 to 7 over here at the Corner Pub. And hopefully, Cassandra does not hit us with math questions this month, which Rob won. Rob won. I was no. all for that. Very I was impressed. No. Can you no. do that again? No. no multiplication do... tables this time. I'm good at that, too. No. We'll probably take a break from math. We need to do something fun. <laughs> Can we do the logos again? No. I love we the logos. That. Yeah, that was two months ago. We no, need something new month. and Shh. fun. <laughs> yeah. The logos are fun. They were fun, but they we need really something fun. different. So if you have any suggestions on games, we have professional connections, great. We always do some kind of fun game we no. could play monopoly i like monopoly we don't forever. have that kind of time <sighs> yeah i'm not saying that <laughs> <one>. <laughs> that does take a very long time but come check out see what what game we'll have in store we've done trivia minute to win it we've done the dating game every february we do the dating game so uh <laughs> yeah definitely come february but uh again wednesday july 30th 5 30 to 7 downtown at the corner pub um that is all we have today for chamber chat so i want to thank trisha and rob for joining me and spending the hour here at lone star internet radio until next time this is cassandra roshan with the greater conroe lake conroe area chamber of commerce Hey everyone, this is Tina, your host from Retro Saturdays. I wanted to invite you to visit the Lone Star Studios here in downtown Conroe, Texas. We're all volunteers here and we need your help in serving the Montgomery County area. Radio media is a fun field to be in. Lone Star Internet Radio serves Montgomery County with news, current events, local programming, and of course, music. If you are interested in volunteering and sharing your talents in media, go to IRLoneStore.com and let us hear from you. Lone Star Internet Radio, serving Montgomery County from the heart of downtown Conroe.